Life is too short, eat dessert first. You won't find finer desserts than here at the dessert booth. When they're presented to you on the plate, they are absolute works of art, so much so that you won't want to eat them, but you won't be able to resist. Certain people were bound to need to share a little bit of their love. Hamilton College is not just up on the hill. Its history extends into the village here on College Street. The building behind me is the library, and it is a Victorian building that was uh, built in around 1871. It was originally built as a fraternity house for Sigma Phi. Founded in 1827, Sigma Phi is the oldest social fraternity in continuous existence. Little is known about this secret society, but we've heard they revisit the library tower every year. More than 160 years ago, a business started known as the Clinton Signal. It is the oldest continuously operating business in the town of Kirkland, and their, uh, their motto was a family newspaper independent in politics, devoted to literature, agriculture, and foreign and domestic intelligence. It still holds true today, but we know it as the Clinton Courier, and we give our thanks to Chuck and Cynthia Kirstner for carrying on the tradition. My husband and I bought the newspaper in 1992. Uh, he had been a, an executive with Reuters in Chicago, and it was part of the corporate downsizing. We needed, he, we wanted to come back east, and we wanted a college town. We looked at newspapers all over the country, and this was the one we decided to buy. The community was a very strong draw. The newspaper has a long history, and it was a good product and had a lot of potential. There is a great deal of satisfaction in knowing that we're recording the history of the community. We are and providing information to people that they have no other way to get. No one else comes in and covers the meetings or provides the engagement announcements, gives them a forum to vent when they're upset with something. This is, it's not just our newspaper, it's the community's newspaper. School Town has a new school. Clinton's new Academy of Performing and Creative Arts opened its doors this fall and offers music, dance, theater, writing, and martial arts all in one location. Well, I've had a vision for a long time to have a performing arts facility where under one roof you have different facets of creative expression from music to dance to writing to languages. I have not been able to put that dream into effect until we found this facility because I really loved the village of Clinton and the town of Kirkland. And I said if I was to do something, I wanted to remain in Clinton. Every individual person has different ways to creatively express an idea, a feeling, an emotion. So putting them in an environment where those who are kinesthetic based, which is dance based, can experience what it would feel like to listen to music. Those who are auditory based like musicians can vice versa play for a dancer and experience the visual um, interpretation of what they're producing. And then taking it one step further into the language fields and again communicating. So all in all it was under so that each way and how a, per a person experiences a creative expression is enhanced threefold. Visit the Academy of Performing and Creative Arts on Taylor Ave in Clinton or online at clintonmusicanddance.org. When I was a very young lawyer, I remember coming to Clinton to meet a surveyor, Walt Cookenham, and I met him here at uh, what was then called Stan's Coffee Shop. I've been coming here ever since. Fortunately now for me, it's only a few steps down from my office. You too can have world-class cuisine and you don't have to travel too far. Just come here to Clinton to Nola's where you're going to be treated to an unforgettable medley of colorful flavors. I started cooking at the Alexander Hamilton Inn uh, under Art Langdon and um, he kind of just uh, took me under his wing and uh, there are several other chefs there that have uh, kind of guided me along my way here. This is something I've always wanted to do and uh, you know, 
happy and let's let's do it, you know. Now where did NOLA come from? What's NOLA considered? NOLA is kind of a combination of our children's names, uh, Nick, Olivia, and Ella, and we just kind of combined them and uh, came up with NOLA. So you juggle a restaurant and kids? Yes. Which is harder? Oh, definitely the kids. <laughs> let's see what we can see. It's time for the Cooper Group Show.